Welcome back to another video on my channel. This is part two of the Swiper.js for Webflow mini series. And today we will connect the Swiper we built in the last part to Webflow's CMS. All right, so this is where we left off in our last video. It's a functional Swiper instance here. And today we will build the exact same thing, but CMS driven. So let's get into Webflow here. That's our Swiper setup. That's the structure. Feel free to check out part one of the Swiper.js for Webflow mini series if you have not already. And I will start by adding a collection list. I'll connect it to the Swiper slide connection I created previously, like not in the last video, but not in recording because it's not relevant. And I'll just fill up the items here. And the important thing is that the class structure still needs to match Swiper. So we have Swiper first, then Swiper wrapper and Swiper slide inside. So we'll start with Swiper with the combo class of is video that we used in the last part of the series, then Swiper wrapper inside with is video combo class. And you guessed it for Swiper slide, the is video combo class. So now we have the basic setup here. I will connect this image to the CMS. I'll connect the title to the CMS and I will sort it as I want it to be sorted like this. That's our setup here, but you will notice in our previous setup, we had the Swiper navigation nested inside of Swiper. That won't work now because we can't nest elements directly inside of the collection list wrapper from Webflow CMS. So we'll just drag it after the Swiper, delete the static instance, and let's just see how this whole thing would look now and how it would work so far. Spoiler alert, the arrows won't work because we changed the navigation structure. So you can see I'm clicking them, like maybe you can see. Um, trying to, yeah, so I, I'm clicking them, but it doesn't work. I can still slide. The swiper is initialized, but the navigation arrows don't work. So we'll have to fix that. So this, they have the class, like the wrapper of these navigation arrows has the class swiper navigation. So we'll work with this one. I'll give it a combo class though of is video, because if you have multiple swipers on your same page, for example, and different kind of swipers, um, you might want to reuse the class of swiper navigation because it just has the unified swiper style um, of the arrows and they're spaced like that. But you want like some, um, yeah, still a class to reference this particular element. So we'll get swiper navigation dot is video. That's the how it's called here, and we'll change the the code here slightly. We just need to modify it a little bit. So we'll get swiper is video inside of the CSS selector that selects swiper arrow video inside of swiper is video. We'll just change this one here. To instead say swiper navigation dot is video and inside of the swiper navigation dot is video we can have the swiper arrow video is next and is previous so that will have a correct css reference to the actual elements that we need to reference for swiper to understand correctly and now we'll hit publish again check out the live site and as you can see the navigation arrows arrows work now again. So that was a rather quick video, but we'll have more parts of this Swiper.js for Webflow mini series. I hope that now you can build your own CMS driven Swiper sliders in Webflow and I'll see you in the next video.